Hi loves, how you all doing? Hope you're all well. So in today's video, I just wanted to bring a bit of more of a relaxed video to you and just chat to you about things that I've picked up since the last time I did a major haul on my channel. Not a one brand specific haul, but um, a major haul. It's everything I've been buying since January, I think it is. January, February, March, April, yeah. Everything I've bought since January. And can I just take the time now to just mention that um, if you follow me on Instagram and you follow my blog as well, because and you now follow me on Snapchat, I'll put my Snapchat link below, you would have known that I actually have started to do blog sales. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of makeup obviously and I will never stop having a lot of makeup just because of what I'm doing. I want to be able to use my makeup. So anything I'm not using, I have basically put on a blog sale. I've, I'm, I've got rid of a lot, a lot of makeup. Um, so if you are interested in that, then yeah, you can check out my blog sale, put the link down below. And I'm only mentioning this because some of you have said or have asked me, you know, when I've mentioned I sell my makeup, you've asked me where it is I sell. So after talking about selling makeup, here's everything I've bought basically in the past like four months or so. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a, there's a lot, okay? But like I said, I've cleared out so much stuff. So this is just, you know, making way for new stuff. You know? <coughs> Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna talk about makeup, guys. Is that alright? <laughs> okay, let's let's get into it. The first thing that I've got is this, and this is a the this is by Laura Geller, and it's the Baked Body Frosting Face and Body Glow. It's in Tahitian Glow, and I've heard people say um, that they really like this. And I saw, I think it was the Fancy Face on YouTube. I love her channel. She got sent this, or she was gifted this from Laura Geller, and she tried it on on the video, and it looked really nice. So I thought, why not try it out for myself? So this is what it looks like. I'll try and do swatches of um, these products as I go. I won't probably do swatches of everything, but you know, you can kind of, can you see that? So I've just kind of swatched it on my hand here. Yeah, so that's it there. Can you see the glow that it gives? It's really nice. When I initially swatched it on my Snapchat, I said I didn't really like it, but when I put it on my face, yes it works really well and it comes with this puff as well so i just use it as a highlight you can use it as an all over like face powder as well um to give a more subtle glow i'm not wearing it today i'll tell you what i'm wearing today i think i got this one from essentials.com which is a great site for getting discounted makeup and i got it when they were doing 20 percent off i think it was of their makeup recently so that was my more recent purchase okay so sticking with the highlight i want to talk about these highlights and i picked up two these are from urban decay they're their new afterglow highlight and i picked up the colors sin which is a very popular one and that's what sin looks like there it's more like a champagne gold kind of color it's really really nice so a gorgeous color i have used this quite a bit actually since i bought it a couple of weeks ago but you can see it there can you see that so that's a very heavy swatch obviously and i picked up fireball which is this and fireball is more of a pinky color i personally wouldn't use fireball as a highlight because it is a pink color so you can see fireball there it would be great on top of a blusher and i can see myself bringing this out more around summertime because it's more of that pinky glow but i just thought these two looked really really nice so yeah decided to pick both of them up okay so next i'm going to talk about just some palettes i'm just going all over the place with this guys apologies but the first palette i'm going to talk about is this this is the new tarte rainforest of the sea eyeshadow palette and the only reason i decided to pick this particular palette up is because i watched a lot of reviews and a lot of people said that the formula of this was quite different to what they're used to with Tarte eyeshadows so I decided to try it out because I did get another Tarte palette as well. This is the palette here and the packaging is gorgeous it's like gold and purple really really nice packaging and then inside it comes like that really pretty colors they're more like neutral colors and you've got a couple like a pink and a purple they haven't used it much but i've just swatched a couple of uh colors there so yeah and i like the fact that they have the names on printed on the inside there as well i do think that this space could have been used a bit 
more effectively to be honest but anyway it's a nice palette and then the second Tarte palette that I picked up is this and I got this one a couple of months ago I think from QVC this is Tartlet in Bloom the Tartlet in Bloom palette it's really nice actually it's what I'm using on my eyes today my whole eye look is this palette I actually prefer this to the first Tarte palette um, I can't remember what it's called but the first one that comes like this yeah I don't really like it it's all matte which I don't mind but I just find the colours in there to be a bit boring um, but this one is matte and shimmers and I just think that these work really nice you can do a host of different eye looks because you have that shimmer the shimmer tones in there as well that's just a couple of them swatched there so yeah really impressed with this and yeah I would recommend this particular one over the first one if I was to recommend anyone to you and I like the packaging as well purple so this and this is the Lorac Nude Necessities palette. To be honest guys, I haven't used this and I think I swatched one or two shades in this. I'm not gonna swatch it um, just because I wanna put it onto the actual blog cell. But this one, it's pretty, but it's kind of bland for me. All of the shades look the same, maybe a couple of tones lighter or darker. I'm a fan of Lorac eyeshadow, so, and I, I've swatched a couple of the shades and they're not bad quality, it's just the range in this. In the pictures that I saw, I thought the range was darker um, and a bit more varied, but it just looks beige. I mean, to be honest, if you're into like everyday neutral eyes and you don't want anything with colour, then this might be for you, but for me, it just, no. So that is something that I will definitely um, be passing on. Okay, now another palette that I um, picked up, which recently came out, is this. And this is the Dose of Colours one, um, and it's the Hidden Treasures palette. Now, a lot of people, complained about this palette because first of all it's limited edition well actually I don't know is it limited edition I don't even know but it was quite hard to get your hands on because it's sold out quite a bit and people were complaining because of the way the eyeshadows are organized and they were saying it's like a lot a waste of space which I can understand because you've got like a few you know missing parts here that you could have put eyeshadows in but I mean I like it it's all right it's it looks all right to me I have to say that the quality of these shadows is actually really good. The shimmer shades, the metallic shades are amazing. They're so good, so pigmented. Like this is one of the eyeshadow palettes that I will say that the hype in terms of the shimmer, like the swatches is actually truthful because some of the times on Instagram, for example, when people swatch, it's not as truthful as they portray it to be. Beautiful, beautiful quality eyeshadows. Can you see that? Those metallic shades are just they're so good guys so yeah I would recommend this if you can put get your hands on it it is quite an expensive palette for what it is I can't remember how much I paid for it but it was quite expensive and I think I had to get mine shipped to go send and I'll put a link to go send below but it's basically similar to my more box but with go send you get your product shipped to them and when they receive the product um, they'll take a picture of your item so you can check that everything's there and then they will um, send it to you in the UK. So it's just shipping service, basically. Okay, so another palette I wanna talk about, which has received so much hype recently, is this, and it's the Peanut Butter and Jelly palette by Too Faced. Now, this here in the UK is a bit controversial because I believe it's this palette that we won't actually be getting in the UK. I think I emailed, no, I sent a tweet to Debenhams who typically stock Too Faced products and I asked them are you going to be stocking this peanut butter and jelly palette here in the UK and they said no. I got mine from Rose's Beauty Store when they had it in stock. Now I haven't seen it in stock for a while to be honest but you can keep checking. I'll put the link down below for you and you can keep checking. Rose's Beauty Store is based here in the UK and they get American products. If ever you find something that you want that's not necessarily here in the UK you can check them. Their prices are quite high though to be honest. This is the palette here. It's nice. I mean people say People keep saying it smells like peanut butter, but to me, no, it doesn't. It's still it's still quite a nice palette, so that's it there. I'm sure you guys have seen 
this palette you know countless times it is nice i haven't yet played around with it as much as i should have done because uh, i've i've only just got it recently so i haven't um, played around with it but my thing is eyeshadows guys i love eyeshadows so i just love playing around with different eye looks and different eyeshadows but that's just a couple of the shades in there swatched uh if you want me to do like a review on this then just let me know uh, it's the same with any of the products in here if you want me to do a review on anything that you see then just just tell me just let me know okay so another Too Faced palette that I picked up has to be one of the most hyped about and ridiculously sought after palettes I have seen in a while in a while to be honest and I don't know how I managed to get this palette I didn't really experience that much of a problem and the palette I'm talking about is this, guys. Now, if you want me to do a review on this, I will be more than happy to do a review on this. And you know, when I do my reviews, I am not going to, I don't care if every single person is hyping up a product, I will not be hyping up a product if it doesn't deserve the hype, okay? So if you want me to do a review, let me know and I will do a review for you. But I managed to get this, and if you didn't know, Too Faced generally ship to the UK. Most products, some products they won't ship, but um, they do ship to the UK, okay? So that's how I managed to get this. They shipped it to me to the UK. I think it is going to be out in the UK soon as well. So if you are wanting it, then just keep a lookout in Debenhams. But this is what the packaging looks like. I have to say the packaging is gorgeous. I will do a review on this if you want me to, so I'm not really going to talk too much about it. But I'm sure you guys have seen this, and that's what it looks like. Now, it does smell very, yeah, it does smell peachy. Oh my gosh, I think I've just dug my finger into this. Oh my gosh. So that's just a couple of the shades swatched. I swatched Nectar, which is the lighter shade, and Bellini, which is like the pinky peach shade. And Bellini is more like a duochrome, so it's like a pink, no, it's like a peachy gold color. The palette itself is gorgeous. It is a really pretty palette, but again, if you want me to do a full-on review for you, I will be more than happy to do so. I just need to play around with it a bit more and uh, test it out a bit more, but I have to say, oh my gosh, it just smells so nice. Like, just opening it up has just made my room smell like peaches. Okay, another palette that I picked up, guys, as I said, I picked up loads of palettes, but another palette that I picked up over the past few months um, was this, and this is the Violet Voss Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette, and again, this is another one that was so difficult to get. I mean, I managed to get mine the first time it was released. I didn't really experience that much of an issue, but I know a lot of people did, and they do ship to the UK. However, I will say, I will just put this out there, guys, don't bother, like, don't bother. This shipping is so expensive to the UK, it's not worth it, trust me, okay? But this is what the palette looks like. Um, it is a pretty palette, but again, if you want me to do a review on this, because I've got a few, few things to say about this one, but if you want me to do a review, then just let me know. But the shades themselves look really pretty, so yeah, it's quite nice. I decided to try out the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. I've never tried them before, so I decided to just pick them up and try them out. So I picked up um, two of their stacks, eyeshadow stacks. So I got the Love Sick stack, and if you've never seen them before, they come like this. And they're basically magnets, which or magnetic stacks of eyeshadow. Okay, so this is the Love Sick stack. It took me forever to try and sort that out. I love this red tone that's up here, really gorgeous. Um, yeah, really pretty. So I just thought I would try these out and I do like the quality of these shadows. I don't think they're the best quality out there, to be honest. They're not as pigmented as some eyeshadows I've tried. They are still quite nice. So that is the Love Sick one. And then the other one I got is the Dark Matter one. This is more like their nude one. Um, like yeah it's not nude but you know what i mean more subtle colors but this this one is all matte eyeshadows this one is the other one had um some shimmer tones in it as well but this one is all matte so you can kind of see them there really gorgeous oh my gosh i keep dropping them guys this is so bad okay so i did a color pop order not their biggest fan i don't know i just think some of their stuff is just too overhyped just for the simple fact that you know, a lot of people get sent Colourpop. Just saying. So I picked up um, from the K. Rucci line, so I'll show you a couple of things I got from her line. But I picked up her eyeshadow quads, and the quads, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of, of Colourpop eyeshadows. I don't know why I picked up these quads, because I'm just not a fan of them, but these are the K. Rucci quads. Played around with them a little bit, but 
I don't think I'll keep these to be honest I'm not sure about that and then I've got the Kathleen lights where the night is quads and I actually do really like this one this one's really nice these colors in here are gorgeous um, I'll just do a swatch of a couple of them but if I recommend any, I'd say where the night is, is what you should really go for personally, because I just find it to be gorgeous. So that's, this is one of the shades and this is um, tele telepathy, 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 telepathy. That's how you say it. So this is telepathy, which is like a greeny gold color. And yes, yes, this is pigmented, gorgeous. Can you see that? Okay guys, yeah. And then this one I am, I've got Weenie, which is really nice. It's like a pinky go rose gold color. Gorgeous as well. And that's that there. So yeah, these ones are really, really pretty. So I also picked up a bunch of lip products as well. I picked up Taurus, which is from Kathleen Light's range. That's Taurus there. It's just a really nice brown color. This one is Aquarius, which is the other shade she came out with which is more of like a pink shade which I'm not really a fan of but you can kind of see it there it's like a lighter pink shade then I picked up the lippy sticks color in Jonesing which is a cream finish which is a nice like purple color and that's Jonesing there it's Taurus which is the lippy sticks version of the lip pencil and it's just a brown and I picked up Aquarius as well, which is more that pinky brown kind of color. And then from the Karuchi line, I actually picked up all of her ultra matte lips that she picked, that she came out with. But I think one of them is in my bag and I think it's K, the darker one, I can't remember now. But this is Chi, the last one, and it's more of that lighter brown. And this one is Rooch. Rooch is more like a dark reddish brown. That's Chi and that's Rooch. So you can see the two colors there. So, I mean, these are quite nice. And then I picked up um, the matching lip pencils for, I think, Rooch. And I picked up the matching lip pencil for K. The K one is just a deep brown color, which is really, really nice. So that's it there, it's just a dark brown. Okay, so I decided to try out some of the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, but I've picked up the shade Damned, which is like this dark purple color, and that's it there. And I picked up the shade Exorcism, which is a lighter purple, and that's the two there, so that's Exorcism there. So it's really nice. Then sticking with the whole liquid lipstick theme, I also picked just a color from dose of colors and I picked up the Bury Me Too because apparently this is supposed to be really good and I heard a lot of people raving about it so that's what it looks like just the purple which I'm looking forward to wearing more in the summertime so that's it there it's more like a lighter purple can you see it than the other two and then I picked up a whole bunch of the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks now I have a whole bunch of them so I have had a request to do a video on these so I will do the video on these for you guys. I do have a few few things to say about them. These have just recently come out in the UK. I know in the US you've had them for a while. In the UK they've just come out. Um, hence why I decided not to do a video on them until they were released here in the UK. I have had these for... I've had these for a few months. Basically, when they first came out in the US, I got these. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Milani. I picked up this Milani Moisture Lock, like peach seed oil infused gloss, which just looks like that. I haven't even tried it out yet. Should I open it up? Hmm, smells nice. I don't know why I just swatched the gloss. And then I picked up um, two of the Milani foundations. So this is one, this is number 14. And the other one which I'm wearing today on my face is number 13. And I do really like these guys. If you want me to do an actual video on these, let me know. Milani now has a UK website. So it's milanimakeup.co.uk. So you can uh, check them out there. And then I picked up this, which I haven't used yet, which is the Milani Prep and Set and Go transparent face powder. So I just thought I'll check that out. See what Milani's talking about with that. And sticking with Milani, I decided to try out their eyeshadow palette, which is this one. 
and I did get another one which is over there somewhere <laughs> I can't get it right now and the one that I'm holding here is the 05 earthy elements one and I picked this one up because of the orange tone in this and I do like this actually I think I, I showed you in a previous video and I was wearing it in a previous video I'll show you some of the things I picked up from Matt they've released a whole bunch of new stuff recently so I want to like try out a bit more from their range but the first two things I'll show you and I can't remember if I've shown you this or not so apologies if I have but <clears throat> I got this a few months ago anyway this is the new MAC Velvety's lip pencils and I really really like these I was wearing this in my last video I think someone asked me what I was wearing and it was the Velvety's lip pencil and this shade the shade I was wearing is the velvet teen shade and it's a deep purple so that's the color i was actually wearing in my last video they last so long on the lips they're so comfortable they dry down like as if you're wearing a lip lipstick but you're not if that makes sense so really comfortable and then um this color here is really nice as well this is aim to please and this one is like a nude kind of brown pink color and can you see it it's so nice like an easy color to wear on an everyday basis so it's really really pretty now mac recently came out with some mineralized skin finishes um and i picked up because they have like a new collection they always have a new collection don't they so i picked up this which is the mac what is it other earthly from i think it's future mac i can't remember what this collection is called but um it's the other earthly highlighter whatever you want to call it mineralized skin finish and it's got like three shades in there it's got like this bronze shade this pink shade and then it's got this silver tone shade in there as well they are very pigmented so that's them swatched there all three swatched there together and then together they just give like just a nice highlight can you see that so i just kind of blended them in together you see so it's really nice really really nice finish um i haven't played around with it too much so i'm looking forward to trying that out a bit more and then i picked up this naturally enhanced mineralized skin finish and it's this dark shade i think they had four or five shades and i picked it up in the darkest shade that they had and that's it there i don't know maybe i should have gone a bit lighter just because i just feel like it might not be my tone too much like i wanted more like a brighter tone so i might pick up the gold one that they had i think they had a gold one but this is great for deeper skin tones this is something you can use all over your face the mac have come out with a lot of different collaborations they recently collaborated with charlotte what's her name i was gonna say charlotte tilbury they didn't collaborate with charlotte tilbury no 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 <laughs> they recently collaborated with charlotte olympia and uh, they came out with a whole bunch a whole range of new things so i'll just quickly show you what i got from there so the first thing that i picked up is this and this is the charlotte olympia cream color base and it's in the shade golden age and i just thought this looked really nice I haven't used it yet but i've literally just got it so i thought this looked really nice can you see that that is gorgeous that is really really pretty and then i picked up a pigment from them because i just really like the packaging of this and this is the pigment in overpressed but look at the casing of that can you see it i just love this like clear casing that they came out with really nice it's like a champagne -y kind of taupey shimmery pigment but the shimmer is not too much in there it's like a slight shimmer it's really nice and then they came out the lipstick they had three reds i think it was three red lipsticks with like different shades of red or different tones of red and i just love this packaging guys look at that look at that packaging it's so so nice it has like the gold casing and then that's the lipstick i got it in retro rouge i think it is yeah which is like a brick red color really nice but yeah i i just wanted to have this just because i like the packaging stuff. so i decided to go to um super drugs so hence why i got super drugs back and this is a bronze and sculpt contour kit from mua and i have to say i've used it today that's my contour that i'm using today and it's the highlight that i've got on which is like bam in your face highlight it came from this guy okay so this is what it looks like this is from mua makeup academy and this is the highlight as i said that i'm using today oh my gosh guys seriously this highlight though is like when you see it you don't think it's gonna do much right but can you 
can can we just not talk right now okay so this is this thing is five pounds underneath the highlight you have the contour powder and that's what i'm using today like here oh my gosh guys when you find a powder that's good for dark skin you need to do a dance i nearly did a dance in the store guys i nearly i nearly did a dance in the store <laughs> i just raved about it but you can't even see it on me <laughs> that is so typical isn't it but trust me it works so well trust me you can see it when you put it on on top of foundation it works really 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 well and i would definitely recommend this contour powder i i'm just really impressed with MUA at the moment and MUA have come out with recently a couple of darker shades or one dark really dark shade in their foundation range and um, their pressed powder range so go and check it out because i haven't checked it out myself because i think it might be even too dark for me to use so I'm really happy about that. So I just thought I'll let you know. I think you can see it on their website. So you can go and check it out. But this, I'm really impressed with. So. And then I picked up, because it was three for two, I decided to, sorry about the noise. I decided to pick up this, which is a Freedom Pro Studio brush bath. And I believe all you do is you just open it up and you can just swirl your brush inside and then rub it on your hands. Hmm, it smells funky the wax helps to clean your brush and i've heard good things about this so yeah i will be trying it out later on either today or tomorrow and then the final thing i picked up is this which i've actually got on today under my foundation and everything it's the gosh lumi drops they're just like what do you call it like luster drops like mac luster drops but they're not <laughs> i got the shade bronze it doesn't come out too pigmented i mean as pigmented as i would have liked it to but you can kind of see it there and then you know you just rub it in as you can see and it you know it just gives you that like luminous glow on your skin stuff so i think i picked this up about a month or so ago this is the blush sculpt by l'oreal this actually works quite nicely as a highlight so i'll just quickly swatch them and show you can you see that how it would work on deeper skin tones more as a uh, warm highlight tone this again is something i was actually really impressed by and this is by rimmel kate like rimmel's rimmel london the kate collection and this is the new contour blush and highlight palette that she has and i have to say this is so good for deeper skin tones this shade here is the darkest one they have so they, i think they had about four or three three or four shades they're really light and then they have the dark shade and this is the darkest one obviously that i could pick up and can you see that contour powder first of all i don't know why i swatch contour powders because you quite clearly can't tell on me oh yes you can can you see it there yes you can so you can see it on me but i'm not too much of a fan of the highlight and the blush in this shade but that's all three swatched there so that's the blush which is more like a goldish peachy pink color and then that's the highlight which is really tough um, really hard to kind of work with and the powder picks up a lot and then it just clumps and this is the new contour kit by sleek now if you want me to do a whole review on this i will be happy to do so very happy to do so to be honest if you've got very deep skin skin tone stay away from this product these are the three dark shades and then you've got the lighter highlight shades at the bottom there mm, it's okay it's okay all i will say is that i tried to use it and then it disappeared onto my skin my skin but i will keep trying it out but if you want me to do a proper review on this then let me know and then the last thing i want to talk about is this i caved i caved and i only caved because i wanted to review this myself i wanted to hear my own thoughts on it um this is yes as you can see it's the kylie jenner lip kit today i am actually wearing because i am testing it out the Kylie, uh, the newest shade, which is Court K, okay, um, from the matte liquid lipsticks. And she has now got lip glosses. So I got number 22 and I got Court K. I'm not getting any other ones. I'm not getting any more. Okay, but if you want me to do a review on these, I will be more than happy to do so. Just let me know. This is the purple shade and that's Court K there. And that's the pencil there but i will not be buying any more of these just because let me tell you now you get custom charges okay guys hopefully you have found that to be useful i always say that whatever useful in helping you go out and shop yes well done with you. 
but if you want me to do any any review on any product that you have seen then just make a note of it down below and I will try and get that out I already have a plan on doing some reviews on some of the products anyway and I will see you in my next video very soon okay take care guys see you soon bye ciao I personally haven't experienced any fallout reviews. So, so, so good. And actually they claim that at the